Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, we're here with another Galaxis 4 accessory, this time from Tech21, and this one is the Impact Maze, as I said, for the Galaxis 4. So yeah, let's check it out. Right, so here it is. Now again, I want to say thank you to Tech21 for sending this to me for the review. I've reviewed their screen protector. If you want to check that one out, I will put a link just about there and a link in the description. So let's just pop it out and let's pop it on there for now. I'm just going to take you around it with the actual case really quickly, which I must say, I like the case. It's a very funky looking case. I don't know why. I always think it's a good case here. It should be a good case here. Anyway, let's have a quick look at it. So again, it is called the Impact Maze, and it uses what this call it, which is D30 or D30, their material, which is the orange stuff in the actual case itself. Now, what the orange stuff is designed to do, D30, whatever you want to call it, is designed for guys to take an impacts. So if I can kind of show you, you can kind of see there, the deeper D30 impact material. If you want to know more about the full D30, because I can ramble on about it, but let's manage here to see what the case is like. If you want to see more about the D30, I will put a link just about there now and then go check out what D30 is all about it's a very very impressive material so obviously number one is the D30 going on to number two the D30 material is obviously designed with regards to taking the shocks and that's why it's designed to go around the majority of the phone of the number three you've got direct access to all your ports etc and number four is a flexible TPU shell so if you want to go check out any more of the information with regards to D30 there is a link in the description and again, the company is Tech21 Impactology. Anyway, let's stop rambling on about that and let's actually have a look at the case itself. All right, so here it is, yes, and you can see the reason why it's called the maze is because it looks like a maze on the back. Now, it does come in other variations, so this is the maze, there are other ones as well. And the different side, it's just got a different kind of pattern on the back there. It's got like a kind of rough kind of material. Now, not rough as such, but you can feel the pattern. On the back, it's kind of like a glossy, kind of a glossy kind of material on the back. And again, it is TPU. And as you can see, as you go around that tool case, which we're going to put on the phone in a moment, it's got that D30 material, which is the orange stuff inside there. And you can see it's designed all the way around it to get to the majority of the, 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 the major parts of the phone. So anyway, Sam, let's shut up and let's just stick the phone in there. It's a nice, easy installation. You just kind of slot her in, pop it in, pop down. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Now, what I would say is just make sure it's fully gone over all the, all the edges because I didn't realise for the first day or two it was kind of hanging off the side a little bit and I didn't really notice. So push it over and you can definitely feel it all in the actual corners for you then. So let's take you around the actual case. So obviously on the bottom, it's a generous size cutout for the micro USB for charging and syncing it. And obviously the microphone there, which as you can see, it's a perfect cutout. And as you can probably tell, this D3 material just covers it all around the edges. Getting up to the power lock switch, you see their D30 kind of branding as well, and it is there. It is a little stiff, but the more I've used it, the actual wool, um, it's got you know looser and looser. So it is a bit rigid when you first get it, a little stiff to start pressing in there, but it will loosen up with time. And again, more of the D30 popping up to the top for the IR blaster. Your 3.5mm headphone jack and your secondary microphone. Again, nice generous size cutouts, so they are perfect for that there. Going around the side of it again, some more of that D30 material and the volume up and down. Very similar to the actual power the lock switch. They're a little stiff when you first get them, but as you can probably tell, mine's loosened up a little bit now. So, you know, when you first get it thinking, oh, it's really hard, don't worry, it does loosen up after about a week. And again, some more of the D30 material going on down there. On the back of it, yes, it's got a little kind of recessed in there, so it's got a nice little part. So when you put your phone down like that, you don't have to worry about the scratch, scratching lens on there. And on the bottom part as well, it's got a perfect cutout for the speakerphone. Jumping onto the front, as you can probably tell, it has got a raised lip. So that when you do put your phone down like that, you don't really have to worry about it. If you are scared of the guys scratching your screen, you may want to pick up a screen protector. And as I said, I have reviewed the Impactology screen protector, the Impact Shield, which I will put a link in the description and link for you just there again now. All in all, I've been impressed by the maze, the impact maze, the actual case itself. I kind of like the look of it. Some people won't like the look of the orange stuff, but I think it looks kind of funky. And you know what's protecting the actual kit, you know, your phone itself. Now, obviously, a lot of people are going to want me to chuck it around and see how strong this D30 material is. Again, if you want to see what D30 is all about, link in the description, you can go check it all out. But effectively, it's designed with a guy to take in, you know, kind of big, you know, kind of drops like that. So you can drop your phone, you know, kind of drop it again. And you're not going to really have to worry about it. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Sam, that's just a table. But again, I don't really want to risk chucking it, you know, up in the air and potentially dropping it on the screen. 
because you never know it can crack it could potentially you know your phone could break let's be honest nothing's indestructible so yeah but all in all i'm impressed by the case it looks nice it feels nice and i could definitely recommend it and again tech 21 they're a company there you know they are trying to look like they're coming through the ranks you know, there are a lot more people, like my, my buddy Jared has also got a very similar case and obviously done the screen protector as well from the smoking Android. And we're impressed by them. So if you want to go check out Tech21, again, link in the description, you can go pick one of these up. And it's going to stick tech21.co.uk or .com. Again, link in the description, you can go pick that up again. Any people, that's the impact made from Tech21. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Again, I'm impressed by Tech21. Again, they are a company that are up and coming. If you want to check them out, again, all the links are in the description. If you've got any questions for me or anything else, leave those comments down below just underneath that like button. And while you're there, you might as well hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. I've got a lot more content on the way. Sorry for the lack of content recently, but I'll be getting back on it very, very soon. And that's it, people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.